you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 7th fifth sunday in ordinary time let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39 As soon as as they left the synagogue they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John now Simon's mother in law was in bed with a fever and they told him about her at once he came and took her by the hand and lifted her then the fever left her and she began to serve them that evening at sundown they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons and the whole city was gathered around the door and he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him in the morning while it was still dark he got up and went out to a deserted place and there he prayed and simon and his companions hounted for him when they found him they said to him everyone is searching for you he answered let's go on to the neighboring towns so that i may proclaim the message there also for that is what i came out to do and he came went throughout the galilee proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends there is a huge contrast between the first reading and the gospel of today the book of job was written a very long time ago before 500 years before between 500 and 6 700 years before christ but today's passage could have appeared in an agony column in one of our tabloid newspapers it's the voice of someone who is terribly depressed and can find no meaning whatever in life is not man's life on earth nothing more than purse trust service his time no matter than hired drudgery how often have we heard people speak like that perhaps we have felt like that also sometimes fed up with life bored with our work such a person is like is the slave saying for the share or the workman with no thought but his wages how many people do we know who get no enjoyment or satisfaction whatever out of their work they just do it for the money how sad at the time same time in the modern industrial world so much of work really is tedious and repetitive one is just a cog in a huge machine this is what so well described in charlie chaplin's film modern times we should be grateful that the computer is now taking over so much of this dreary production line of works job goes on months of delusion i have sight assigned to me nothing for my own but nights of grief laying in the bed i wonder when it will be day reason i think how slowly evening comes restlessly i fret till till it falls day after day night of the night drags on what kind of life is that where is it going where is the value where is the meaning at the same time shift at the end of a wave shuttle my days have passed and vanished leaving no hope behind before i know it it is too late remember that my life is but a breath as they say today is the first day of rest of my life let's now look at the gospel where there is a very different picture altogether it is a description of part of a typical day in the life of jesus the day had begun by jesus going to the synagogue of capernaum because it was sabbath day while still in the synagogue a possessed man burst in and made a great scene Jesus all power the evil spirit and cured the man then Jesus left the synagogue 
and because it was still sabbath when work and travel were forbidden jesus and his disciples went to simon peter's home where peter's mother in law was confined to bed with a fever fever jesus immediately healed her and lifted her up to her feet what did the good lady do did she slump in the into the chair and wait for sympathy to be poured on on her no she immediately began to serve the needs of those in the house with her she did this not because that was a duty of a woman but because it is the duty of every christian to serve the restoration of her health meant that she could once more take care according to her gifts of the community yes my dear friends there is a need of all of us for rest but rest that refreshes and rebels as opposed to pure escapes or dissipating activity we rest in order to come back to a life of service not in order to get away from it ideally as sculpture irregular one set our work should be our hobby something we really enjoy doing on the other hand while many are escapists others are compulsive helpers they need to be needed what they do look looks like service but is really satisfying an inner fear of being passed over unnoticed such people need to learn how to say no without feeling guilty as jesus does in today's gospel otherwise they face burnout and breakdown as in all things balance is the secret a balance between the needs of the others and our own amen may god bless us